Lee and Darla, how are you both keeping today? We're Good. great, thank you. Uh, congratulations on the movie. Thank congratulations you. Congratulations on the Golden Globe. Thanks. Thank you. Uh, I will preempt congratulations on an Oscar nomination. Mm-hmm. Uh, how would you both feel about the reaction that the movie has gotten so far? Oh, it's great. We're very excited, uh, overwhelmed, honestly, with how people are embracing it worldwide, but especially in Mexico. Yeah. Um, that, that really uh, meant a lot to us. Yeah, didn't it, it has the highest grossing uh, movie of all time. In of Mexico, all time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Of all movies. Yeah, yeah. it's quite really remarkable. And we've done amazingly well in China, interestingly enough. Mm. Uh, this is kind of a, a departure, I think, for Pixar, because normally you associate more musical movies with the Disney brand. Mm-hmm. Uh, but with this, it's taking on, it's not a musical, but there's obviously a lot of music in it. It's like part of the, the core of the movie. Was mm-hmm. that a purposeful kind of artistic thing you want to do? You're like, I want, we want to try something brand new with this one? Yeah, I mean, very early on, we did toy with the idea of doing a full on musical, but it became clear to us that um, this movie wanted to be something a little different. And, um, and I really wanted, one of my goals was to embrace as much of the rich musical landscape of Mexico as I could. And that meant having a lot of source music and kind of traditional songs and um, in addition to new original songs that we wanted to write. Um, but we, we did always envision it as being a really music-filled movie. Um, I, I look to uh, the Coen Brothers film, Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Nice. As a model of a film that um, was just steeped in music. You, know, almost, you can't separate music from the movie. The music is part of the storytelling. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to do something kind of along the same lines with Coco. Uh, there is a scene in this film that I personally think is sadder than uh, the ending of Toy Story 3 or the start of Up. I'm not going to ruin it <laughs> for anyone watching the interview, but I was in absolute tears watching it. Mm-hmm. At what point in the development of the film do you, do you know, oh, this is the scene that people are going to be talking about? Uh, when it comes to that kind of reaction? Well, assuming you're talking about the scene toward the end of the film. Y- yes. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Even talking about it. <laughs> uh, that was a scene, that was a scene that we, um, there was a scene that we came up with pretty early on mm-hmm. and it, it actually didn't change all that much in the years that we spent developing the rest of the story. A lot of the rest of the story changed quite a bit, but that scene at the end we had pretty early on. And it's always good to have a strong emotional ending. Yeah. A lot of times people have good stories, but then they don't quite know how to stick the landing at the end. Sure. And it's always helpful to have your ending and then figure out the best way to paint towards that ending. Uh, just out of curiosity, which non-Pixar movie do you think has the saddest moment? Like, Which, which film do you think is like a, will make you cry on cue almost because it has that emotional resonance for you? Uh, Lee? Well, for me, <laughs> it's like two semi-recent films that I found super emotional were um, Terrence Malick's film, The Tree of Life, mm-hmm. and, uh, and then there was a movie about, uh, called The Impossible about a, a tsunami uh, uh, that I just Naomi found like, super yeah. affecting, because I think because I've got kids myself, and, yeah. and it was just a pretty harrowing thing to sit through. Yeah. And I, you know, I, I'm drawing a blank right now because I... Uh, this you cried po- everything. Yeah. At this, <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, at this point in time, uh, the, pretty much every film brings me to tears. <laughs> well, there, again, there's a part in this film uh, which deals with, well, obviously, Mex- uh, the, the history uh, of Mexico, and uh, it involves uh, certain people crossing a border. Uh, do you find, because uh, this film has been in production since 2010, 2011? 11, yeah. Uh, which is obviously predates the current political climate. Was that mm-hmm. something you were very aware of the closer you were getting to the kind of release date for the film, uh, having something that could be read into so politically? Well, we were never trying to make a political statement with the film. We were trying to celebrate Mexico and the beauty of the country, the people, the traditions, and, um, and that goal stayed what it was even after things started to change politically in the U.S. Um, but if anything, it made us uh, feel that much more emboldened to get the movie out into the world and to uh, and to really make sure that we shared this this you know this what we hoped was a beautiful mm-hmm. depiction of Mexico and and uh, and Mexican traditions with the rest of the world uh, because we we know full well the power of storytelling and uh, the impact that our stories can have since they do go out to the entire world mm-hmm. and um, I mean we we've all f- always felt that. Uh, well, when you tell a story well, um, it creates empathy in the audience. 
and uh, we hoped that we would be reaching out to people that um, maybe um, weren't educated about Mexico and didn't really understand that these are people that are very much like ourselves and uh, who have very beautiful traditions and, and uh, have very strong feelings of love about their families. And those are all ideas that I think everyone around the world shares. Yeah, and so even though we were well into the making of the film, you know, uh, we were wanting to be a, uh, just a positive contributor to the conversation. We are, I think, 22, 23 years now since the first Toy Story. Um, 19 films, Coco's the 19th film. Uh, eight Golden Globe wins now for, for Pixar. How do you keep things uh, original and invigorated in the, in the company, like to, to make sure you don't just, you know, rest in your laurels and go, ah, it'll be fine, it'll make money. Like, how do you continue to, uh, you know, create and keep interested in the stuff that you're working on? Well, I think we never assume that what we make is going to make money or is going to be uh, good. Uh, every time we start a new movie, whether it's an original story or a sequel, um, you know, we're really frightened. <laughs> you know, we, we want it to Properly. work. <laughs> and, um, and, it, and it's a very difficult process, no matter what you're doing. Um, it's not easy. It's not, you, we don't push a button and spit out a movie. It's, it's years of hard work on the part of hundreds and hundreds of people. Yeah. And um, so, you know, we're grateful that Coco's doing really well, but to be honest, the whole time we were making it, we didn't know. We didn't know how it was going to turn out. We didn't know whether it was going to be embraced by, you know, by the people of Mexico or the Latino community or just, you know, viewers around the world. So the fact that it's worked out and mm -hmm. is, has been so beautifully embraced uh, makes us so happy, but we never uh, took it for granted. A very final question. <clears throat> you've been to the future. You've been to the bottom of the ocean. You've been all over the world. When are you coming to Ireland? When are we getting an Irish <laughs> Pixar movie? <laughs> I guess we were close with Brave, but we were not very quite close, close enough. It was, it was, well, it's quite yeah. close, but... Well, you have such brilliant filmmakers here. That's true. <laughs> so, um, you yeah, never know. Tom Moore's been keeping that pretty well covered. Absolutely. Yeah. Watch yeah. this space, basically. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Got you. Lee and Darla, thank you so thank much. You, you, my boy, are meant to be a musician. I must follow my heart. I am trying to save your life! Nice kitty. Miguel, some things matter more than music. <gasps> Sorry. We may have our differences, but nothing's more important than family. 